Napansin mo ba yung whisk attachment nitong ano? Something's telling me it might be there. Hi, I'm Martin. Welcome to Mashups, where we take our favorite dishes and turn them into crave-worthy desserts. This represents my current state of mind. Hindi man tayo nanalo sa looks department, pero sa taste. <laughs> so there, I've, I think I've done my intro. <laughs> Ang gagawin nating dish ngayon for our mashup is the most tita slash tito cake I can think of. Which is Brasa de Mercedes. You know, yung gitna pa lang, yung yema feeling niya, sobrang ano na, nostalgic na for a lot of people. And it's what sells the cake. And of course, yung sobrang light niyang body. So yan. You know, yung past few years, naging trend sila, dream cake and whatever. We'll try to make it close to that. Kasi ang goal natin here sa mashups is to make the dish into a mas crave-worthy dessert. Alright, for the first part of the recipe, syempre gagawin natin yung merengue or yung merang. For that, I'll be using a sheet pan and I lined it with some wax paper or parchment paper. This is important. There's a tendency for your merang to stick to your pan. We have another option here. This is called a silicone mat. Pero kasi not everyone has this. But if you have it, this saves you a lot of parchment paper. Pero since na line ko na to, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. So this recipe requires a lot of eggs. Around 10 yung gagamitin natin. We have to separate the whites from the yolks. Pero since maramihan to, what I would do is place one egg here, transfer here, as long as the egg is okay. Kasi ayaw natin malagyan ng egg yolk yung egg whites natin. Ngayon, kapag nabasag yung egg yolks, we'll just transfer it here. Oop! Sorry. Kami tayong bago. Try to be more gentle this time. Okay, I just use my fingers. Kind of sift out the yolks. Okay lang kung ma-break yung yolks. Doesn't really matter. Ang importante is, yung egg whites natin won't be touched by yolks or water or oil. There you go. So we have 10 yolks, 10 egg whites separated. Now I'm gonna grab my mixer. <laughs> Siesta. Napansin mo ba yung whisk attachment nitong ano? Something's telling me it might be there. Right, you can use a hand mixer for this one. So, yung 10 egg whites natin. Lalagyan ko ng cream of tartar. We'll just go medium speed for like 2 to 3 minutes. Ang gusto natin ma-achieve is soft peaks. I'm gonna show you later what it looks like. And then we will gradually add our 1 cup of sugar. Okay. So, para lang pakita sa inyo, ito soft peak na yan. Gradually natin lalagay yung sugar. Huwag isang bagsakan kasi that will deflate your merengue. Dahan-dahan lang. We just mix this on high for 2 minutes. And you are good. Okay, so ito na. Yung semi-stiff peaks. It stands, pero hindi siya sobrang dry. Hindi rin siya pointing up. Plus, it's kind of... Uh, yeah, kita nyo naman. So, I'm just gonna transfer this here na yung egg white. Being super careful not to work it too much. Ayaw natin ang sobrang bagsak na. So, offset spatula. Offset. Or flat spatula kung ano meron kayo. It's fine. Dahan-dahan para wala masyadong air pockets. So if you have like that uh, pastry comb, it's usually like a rectangle or a square na merong ipin. But if you don't, you can always just tin it all. I'm not pushing down, I'm just letting it glide through the merang. Kung gusto nyo medyo wavy na ganyan, itong ridges na to creates like a crispy crust, pero it only lasts for a while, for a few minutes after baking. Ngayon, nagawa ko na yung best pattern in the world. Wow. Yeah. This represents my current state of mind. So, preheat your oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Ito yung one of the cases wherein kailangan naka preheat talaga. If not, this will deflate if you wait, make it wait for too long. So, bake natin to for 20 to 25 minutes. We have to check always. Mangyayari dyan, we want the top to brown and maging solid. Yung isa sa mga magiging twist natin for, for this recipe, 
Nakalagyan natin siya ng graham crust. So, gagawa tayo ng two versions. Yung isa yung sa thin cake, gagawin lang natin is the thin sauce and the merang. Tapos yung isa, gagawa rin tayo ng merong ice cream. So lang natin is to coat all of the crumbs with butter. And once na mag-set siya sa fridge, mas magsasolid siya. And after folding, it's gonna look like this. Darker and parang it's easy for it to clump together. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Next, we are going to do our yung yema filling. So I'm using a non-stick saucepan. We'll be using this silicone whisk. Tansayin natin around 1 fourth cup. I'm gonna add sa egg yolks. The rest, I'm gonna put sa aking saucepan. The reason why I added a bit of a condensed milk here too, ayaw kong ma-shock siya dun sa temperature nung iniinit natin later. We'll go here. Kanina medyo may laban siya when I'm mixing, pero you'll feel na medyo nagiging thin na yung mixture. Don't let it boil. Ngayon, it's getting thinner and thinner. What we're gonna do, yung half nitong mixture na to, lalagay ko dito and I'll pour it into the egg yolk mixture while stirring continuously. And by doing that, umaangat yung temp nito. Nagle-level yung temperature niya, nagbabalance with the ones, with the mixture in the pan without cooking the eggs completely. Check ko lang yung merengue. Ayan, so after 25 minutes, this is what we get. Nice browning, still soft. Hindi siya masyadong na crispy. Next is, cover it with some powdered sugar. There are some people who use cornstarch, but I don't really advise that unless ito sa tanyo muna yung cornstarch. Kalat is the best. Next, I'm gonna cover it with some parchment paper. All right, biggest chopping board or a pan of the same size would do. So yung natin next, hold it, then flip. Oh, I kind of ruined it. I forgot to run the sides with a knife. Now I have a tin here. It's around six inches. Siguro if this was a roll, people would, would be like saying, you're ruining it. You're destroying everything. Everything that we've lived for. But it's fine. Um, <laughs> it does not look good. But then again, we're gonna use this, so we're safe. Just use that to mark. So, medyo dun sa inner edge of the circle ako magkakat. Ayan, so, gonna set this aside and continue with our filling. Yeah, so this is warm enough, simmering. I'll just put half until mag-level yung temp nilang dalawa. And then, put the mixture back to the saucepan. Mix well, over low heat. Yeah, so, ang gusto natin mangyari ngayon is to cook off the egg yolks and thicken it a bit. So, sino yung pwede kong mabig mahinga ng assist dyan? Dustin. Yeah, just make sure you get the sides. Yan. So, while he's doing that, I'm gonna, we're gonna do some distancing. That's six feet, right? Six baby feet. I'll put around a cup and a half of my graham crust here. It looks kind of thick. It looks like it's too much, but since I press down ko naman siya, yeah, it's all good. So, may crust na tayo dito. So, this version, ito yung lalagyan lang natin ng parang sauce consistency without the ice cream. So, I'm gonna set this aside. Oh no, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. The other one, I'm just gonna use this one. I stole this from someone's, ano, yung baunan niya. Tinapo ko yung baon niya. And just pinagawa ko sa kanya yung mahirap. <laughs> and again, I'm just gonna fill it with my graham crackers. Ito, taller because we're gonna put some ice cream sauce and then the meringue. Freezer again. Thanks for the assist. <laughs> That's the thing. There are times talaga na you'll have to do a lot of things uh, simultaneously, especially with the baking too. Another trick that you can do if you feel like masyado na siyang uh, curdly, <laughs> Kung meron kayong blender or immersion blender, you can use that. So this is good enough since we're not going for the super solid filling. No? And it's like a sauce. If you want to do the back of the spoon test, it means it's thick enough. We have our vanilla beans over here. Add it. Metal whisk for this one. Just this is not non-stick anyway. And so with the vanilla, I really like how this looks. As in yung may ganyang pang ano, happenings. So even if it's warm, we can add it to our crust. Since we used butter for this one, it sets super fast. Like, see? It's that hard. We're gonna, we're gonna fill this halfway. 
then back to the freezer for this one. Right, now let's just put our meringue there. We wanna kinda submerge this so you can see the sauce. Then we can dust this with more powdered sugar. Then we'll cool this down in the fridge uncovered. Give it 15 minutes. I'm gonna be honest with you guys and with my myself, it does not look good. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I thought it would look better. So gagawin natin, I still have some vanilla whipped cream left over. It's gonna pipe on the sides. Right, so ito, nasalba naman natin siya kahit pa paano. Well, I'm pretty sure it tastes good. We just have to let it set in the ref for a few minutes, 10 to 15, or as much as possible overnight if you can. I'm gonna go assemble the next one. And so this is the second variation of the brasa that we were making. This one I put in the freezer for like 30 minutes para lang I can spread this without destroying it too much. Flavor I'm using is butter pecan, but you can use whatever flavor you like. I just don't recommend siguro yung masyado ng stark contrast na flavor, like dark chocolate or fudge brownie. So while waiting, yung 30 minutes of wait natin kanina for this to set, nilagay ko na yung ice cream ko from the freezer to the chiller. And then, we are gonna put the meringue in. Now, unlike the first one, ito sakto sakto siya. <laughs> just close it, then you can let it set in the freezer. So these are uh, my creations and then yung actual Brazo de Mercedes. And dun sa looks department, I admit defeat. <laughs> We're still learning uh, when it comes to making food look good. Whenever we make mistakes, especially here in mashups, we take notes and try our best not to do it again. <laughs> Taste test na. We're gonna go with the one with ice cream. This is what we were what we are looking for. Ayon natin na masadong nagsolidify yung feeling sa natin. It's a bit saucy. Hi. Di man tayo na nalo sa looks department pero sa taste may confident na wala ng sarap niya. Thanks, mom. Eto this one is better as a gift dahil mas portable siya dahil it doesn't have ice cream. You don't really have to worry about it melting on the way to its destination. Super tempted ako isubo to ng buo, but then manners and etiquette. Na isalba natin ang sarili natin, both with the ice cream and without. Ah, so sobrang ano, I'm happy. So paninindigan ko yung sinabi ko niya, it might not look good as long as it tastes good <laughs> and you made it with your own two hands. Something to be proud of. So yun. Thank you guys for watching. Try the recipe if you have the patience, like me. <laughs> and, you know, watch more of our videos, please. Thank you. Mashups. Wait. Mashups. <laughs> Mali pa yung inangat ko.